Simplify Me Microserver version 3 is 100% new. For the first time, our ultra portable micro SFTP server supports both 32 and 64 Windows and Linux, and both x86 and ARM architectures. When you download the archive, you will find only two files inside. Make sure to check out the README file first. It provides some important information to get you started right away. The README file covers terms and conditions, and documents the most common command line parameters to start the server and configure various options. Once you've learned the basics, you're ready to start using microserver. To begin, open a PowerShell or a command prompt. If you are OK using the default bindings, username and password, then you can simply start the server using the serve command and the dash d parameter to indicate which directory you want to serve. Microserver is now active and listening on port 22, which is the default port for the SFTP protocol. Let's fire up an SFTP client and transfer some files. Just type in the IP address, username, password and port, and connect to microserver. Now that we are connected, let's upload some files. Microserver uses a colorized console log to inform you of what's going on. Now let's delete the files we just uploaded. There you go. With a single executable, no installation, and no configuration, you just ran a basic SFTP server. Put it on a USB stick and take it with you for all of your emergency file transfers without compromising on security.